What's going on, everybody? Doc here, Average Gripper Guys, back again. Skate Series action, wrapping up a season six here. I know it's been a little minute. We just, I, I am at the cutting, <laughs> I am on the cutting room floor here, trying to get this in and done before Wipe kicks off here in a little more than an hour or so. So we're gonna jump in, we're gonna cover stats, we're gonna talk about how we did, how far we progressed on this account, and I'll relate it a little bit to our main account as well as to our uh, hardcore account, just to kind of have a gauge a little bit here on how we were able to do. I'll also talk a little bit about what's gonna come for next season and uh, cadence and some of those things, and then we'll probably take one raid, head to factory, just go have some fun. Maybe grab some things from the traders while we do that. But let's jump in and see how we ended up doing here finish up with about three million rubles we got a whole nice big stash going on i was really happy with how we were able to kind of get organized get collected we got some really cool stuff here so overall feeling pretty good here's what's crazy i made the farthest progress on this account uh actually i think tied actually tied with my main account in terms of level uh, i believe both got to 40 which is pretty crazy 192 raids on this one was actually less than our main account, which was also kind of interesting. 61 survival, 61% survival rate was actually 11% better than my main account. Now, on our main account, we typically would push and try to get in a little bit more PvP. We we're a little bit smarter maybe on this account, but that is really good. I'm very happy with that survival rate. 8KD actually was slightly worse. <laughs> Then my KD on my hardcore account, uh, I think that was 8.6, 8.63, something like that. So very, very similar. I want to just take a look here. We had a 1 KD on the scav, ran 39 raids there, 33% survival rate. So we had really good success. Grind ended up and then 56% here on our PMC with an 8.61. So very, very similar KDs across the board. I don't remember what my main account won. I wouldn't be surprised if it was anywhere it was probably close to there. So 75 PMCs killed out of uh, 488 scabs, 582 total kills. That's not terrible. That's actually pretty markedly better than our hardcore, although hardcore usually, again, we're kind of avoiding things like PvP for the most part. If we have to get in engagements, we do, but not bad. 75 PMCs, 488 scabs. Pretty happy with our stats here overall. Um, PMC six survives in a row. We had 11 run on the scab, which is pretty cool. And uh, level 40, almost 42, almost max traders. That is pretty neat. I am, um, I'm pretty, I'm, I, honestly, I'm pretty happy about this. We we made some really, really good progress. I got some stuff done on this account that I had not gotten done on our main account. And we are kind of actually fighting over some quests between hardcore and our uh, escape series account here so really kind of interesting skills wise nine and nine here's what's really crazy i was at nine endurance and eight strength on hardcore and we were like 10 less levels now granted we ran pretty similar amount of raids i think it was maybe 50 less or so um but that's crazy to see these basically buttoned up. Vitality, we had a little bit of a jump. Was moving all the way to four. Health at seven. Stress at four. Metabolism there. Perception. None of the rest of these really matter. These really are the two. Kind of top four are, are the most important ones in terms of progression and things like that. We are almost at level 41. Um, Task-wise, we had a whole bunch of stuff to do. We did have ambulance we could turn in here. So that is pretty cool. Perfect mediator. I think we're getting just because everybody's maxed out at traders. So we were just a couple levels away from getting that. We had a whole lot of streets to do. We really didn't do a ton. We was working through, but here's where I probably failed the most is not getting in and getting these interchange tasks done very quickly. What's crazy is we almost had decontamination service done and we didn't even finish the sales night, which is just wild. So, um, that just goes to show my preference here and that you can still progress very, very well with the wide range of tasks that are going on. If you like a specific map, as long as you still do some woods, some customs from shoreline and get some progress there, you can really just kind of avoid some other maps. Again, we didn't play streets. We didn't play lighthouse a ton. Um, 
and we were still able to get really, really good progression. So do keep that in mind as you're jumping into this next wipe that uh, you don't necessarily have to go and do all the things everywhere. You have to do some of them. We'll see if that changes, though. I got to just be honest. We could see this big change come in with tasks and a whole bunch of stuff. I don't think so, but I should say that just to protect myself we were working through the punisher series this is one that i want to try really hard on getting some progression and actually getting through i think this is a great task line to try to get complete to show people that you can get good progress here on a solo standard account even just playing one or two nights a week and a little bit on the weekends so that's really the intent of this and i think uh we showed pretty good level 40 is nothing uh to be upset about so lots more stuff that we still had to do Plenty of things. We didn't do like any setup, which is really funny. Uh, Evil Watchmen. There's some things that we definitely avoided just because I don't like doing some of the tasks. And uh, probably a little burned out from trying to do them some other places. Ambulance we uh, we had done. We're ready to go as soon as we could get that done. I wanted to get Vitality up so that uh, we could just dump, jump that level and get a few more things done. So overall, pretty happy. Pretty happy with our stats here. I am... Uh, I am not upset in the slightest at all. We'll take a look at the hideout. We were in pretty good shape, actually. We actually had the Bitcoin farm installed. We had the boost generator. We had our scav case here. Rocking and rolling. See what we get. Cool. Shovel. Nice. That's cool. Um, so we obviously couldn't get solar power. These are all just ready because we have some beers in our inventory. But essentially had this pretty close to topped up. I mean almost everything level three we needed to uh, construct a library and our air filtering unit we had not upgraded our shooting range at all and our weapon rack those were kind of the next two things on the tap but we had stash level three which is really really cool so trying to get up to level four would have been neat but i'm really happy with this the fact that we we're able to get bitcoin farm in here um and rocking and rolling is uh is pretty cool it's pretty cool that was nice. That was really, really neat. Happy with that. So, yeah, good progress. Really good progress. Got the gym, got the Hall of Fame all the way up to level three. We, uh, I'm going to just keep an eye on because we got this guy. We got the Mr. Kerm in there. Look at this little dude. That's super fun. So, should be keeping hanging on to that. So, that is pretty neat. I'm actually really curious to see what else happens. Probably the one thing I'm most excited for is some introduction to some new zones here in the hideout that could be really cool really interesting potentially so that will be definitely something that we dive into but all right let's go to some traders let's get some fun stuff to grind here and to use do i have some space in here um ragman can i just sell you these i don't need this anymore i'm not gonna do i use that maybe i use that yeah no i'm not gonna use that screw that thing uh yeah we don't need a bunch of these armors i just want to make room all right what do you have for us to buy rag man we got the mask do we buy one of these sure is everything basically unlocked yeah that's cool that's cool can you wear a bastion with this where to find out now one armor we should think about using is this guy it's pretty good it's pretty good basically got I think just about everything unlocked here that's pretty fun all right mr jaeger we want to do anything crazy with you mr jaeger what do you got here for us bud i'm gonna head to factory here i think just to have some fun are the barters still intact that's so funny that they do that do we buy one of these do we run this in factory oh my gosh can we get the ammo for it three three eight Let's see. I don't remember which one is the best. I think Lapua. Or it might be FMJ. Let's just buy the 30 rounds of FMJ. Maybe it won't let me. Apparently, we got an ad. Spotify. That's unfortunate. Uh, what happened here? Why could we not buy these?
Can't remove items. Oh no. Oh no. What uh what's the deal here? What is the deal? That worked. That was weird. All right. Let's find some mags. This will just be fun. And we can gear up here. Just need two more. I think we take this. We'll wear this. We'll wear this crazy mask. Oh, we can't. We'll wear this mask because we can. I think I'll just... Do I keep the big blueberry bag on? No. Uh... Yeah, we want like all the heals, all the grenades. Where's our ammo at? Just pop this up. This is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I guess we'll just throw this on here. I've never it, it's been so long since I've used this gun. Let's see, what else can we do to this? Our music's back here. Uh, at a preset. What else can we put on this guy? M lock. I don't know. Sure. Sure. But it canted. Get a flashlight because we can. Is there a different muzzle brake here? Statistically, which one's going to be better? This one. We get some ergonomics back. That seems fine. Hopefully we can buy all this. Thank you. A symbol. We should bring a backup. Should our backup be? I'm just going to do this one raid and then hopefully I just don't instantly die. Because that would be really sad. What level plates are in these? Fives? Can we swap these out? Oh, dope. Yeah, let's get some level sixes in there. Give us a little bit of durability. All right, I got to have something else fun here. Let's check what we got in our hideout hanging out. I do like fire sale. I do think this is like one of the funner, funner things that we get to do here. We could bring MPX. We bring this loud M4. Maybe this mutant. Ooh, six spear. You know what? That'd be fun. That'd be fun as a backup to bring. We'll, uh, we'll throw this optic on here. I'm good with this. And then that's what we'll do. Got a little spear action. Get rid of this guy. What can we throw on here? Edit preset. Sure, we'll just do that. What the heck? It did make this look really good. Looks a lot like the one that I have. Obviously, mine is not chambered in this ammo, but... Alright. We're gonna finish gearing up. And, uh... We'll grab some good meds here. Oh, I forgot I had all this stuff in here. I could run the vector. Ooh, doggy. Bring some natty boys. Because why the heck not? Meds. Whole bunch of propies. My god. I need to bring some... Get rid of this. Sure. I don't even care. 
I gotta get care. I gotta be careful about that though. Because next thing I know, I'm gonna be deleting things that I ended up needing when we <laughs> get into our next playthrough. Let's grab one of these. So we got it. Um. All right. We'll grab some Sig Spear mags and we'll see you in the raid. All right, here we go. We were sitting out waiting for players for <laughs> like a minute or so. And I was like, oh no, did they go down too soon? this guy oh my gosh i didn't even think about bringing in i didn't even think oh my god i totally whiffed i didn't even think about bringing in the grenade launcher oh all that prep for, <laughs> for a fucking five second raid oh my god that's so fitting to finish here oh my gosh I should have had the SIG out. I feel like that actually would have been better. But I really wanted to kill somebody with this thing. Oh, man. Can you buy that? You have to be able to, obviously. this Everything's on sale. There's everything. I think you could buy T7s right now. Um, typically, when they do the fire sale. Interestingly enough, everything is not one ruble, which is really funny. Where are these? Usually, he has them. Yeah, T7s are, they're 173,000. Usually they're, they've done a one ruble sale before, which is really, really funny. Um, this isn't bad though. This should still be accessible for lots of folks, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Hopefully you had the opportunity to get in and have some fun, run around PVP. It's a great time for PVP, although by the time you see this, this will be way over and uh, we'll be in the wipe already at that point. So let me just see what else we can, just see what other weapons we can purchase here. They uh, what they threw RBK would have been fun. Look at that Saiga! Holy moly, that's kind of crazy. I'm wondering who he's got to have it. Grenade launcher. Yeah, there we go. 88 bucks. Buy that. You get the spear for a whopping 19 dollars. Nineteen dollars. That's super fun. Super, super fun. All right. So really quickly, I will wrap this one up. Sorry that that was very anticlimactic and we just got pooped. Just got booped on really fast there. Um, We will be headed back. We'll be jumping in uh, to our next season. I'm really excited about this. So I'm going to get some recording done here probably pretty quick into the season. I do have... A little twist on this season, though. I'm going to add a little challenge factor to the start. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about it. I'll keep you in a little bit of suspense, but I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Should add some interesting dynamics. Should be pretty fun. Change up the way we play a little bit just to get through the first bit of the grind or so, and then we'll get back into the normal play and uh, have some fun, depending on how that first start goes. Uh, there's a world in which it goes poorly and maybe we reset the account. Well, we'll have to see how that goes as we jump in, but we're gonna do a fun challenge. It's gonna be interesting. I'm really looking forward to it. So we'll get some recording done for that. We'll uh, have this posted up. Hopefully by this point, by the time you're seeing this, hopefully patch notes are up as well. Uh, Cause again, we're recording this right at the cusp of it. And then we'll jump into those really quickly. So that'll finish out this week and then next week, We'll jump in and we'll get some episodes going. I'll at least get the first of our escape series here and the challenge as well as our hardcore series up. Might focus in on some um, some main account content as well now that our recordings are fixed and everything and uh, we've been able to rock and roll from that. So stay tuned for some EFT action. In addition, I'm going to be trying to do some more stuff here on the weekends. I, will, I want to continue on with our Elden Ring playthrough and I do want to jump into 
maybe a little bit of retro gaming. I've got a couple of games that I'd really like to bring to the channel just as fun, just to mix it up and have a little bit of variety. So keep an eye out for all that stuff. Links in the description, flash some socials, do the YouTube thing. If first time you're checking this out, thanks for being here. Get ready for a whole bunch of new fun with this next season. And I look forward to jumping into our escape series here and getting Escape from Tarkov back up and rolling on the channel in full force. So enjoy the wipe. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully it's not down for forever. We're going to see here very, very shortly, and uh, we'll jump into it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next season. Peace.